rehash why that made it to the list and the vote, but I'd like your opinion on that capital gains exemption number there again. This state, in my impression, has fought hard to get capital gains down. Do you have anything you'd like to weigh in on that again? Because I see that and struggle with that still to this day. I don't know. Yeah, I actually think that, so you have two capital gains preferential treatments. Um, the first is that you exclude 50% of gains for everyone. That is unique. Most states don't do that. So you're already giving a preference. The second is that if the gain is in excess of 10 million, you also exempt that. No other state does that. I, I don't see a need to do that. And that's the one that's here. I'm comfortable with you, are, you all eliminating that. Particularly because you're already giving them benefit over here with the 50% exclusion. Um, I think that you know, if you're on the way to making tax reform, that's a, a, a nice way to help finance all these other changes. Those individuals also then would be receiving, particularly if you're using either option A or the new DFA schedule, they're also going to get a lower tax rate um, in exchange for this. I think that's a completely fair trade to Yeah, I don't want to start reading the gauge and all these things. We just adopted the report. I, I understand. I think the only thing I want to say is it is without statement, that's going to have to be an educational deal. I mean, we may need help on how we educate the voters on that. Okay. 